to you about Microsoft Business 365 Premium. Okay, most of our clients are on Microsoft 365 Business Standard um, as a general, although with newer clients, we are moving people towards Business Premium. All right, so let's get into it. Why, what is it, who is it for, and what can it do? Okay, so um, within uh, Microsoft Business Standard, you're already familiar, there's Exchange, Teams, you got OneDrive, SharePoint, uh, there's bookings in there, there's Outlook, all the applications come down to there. Business Premium is adding on an extra layer of uh, services and security, which fit in nicely with our standardized security stack. Okay, so we're encouraging people to take on this subscription because we can deploy more of the security features um, over and above the, the basic essentials, which are excellent. So let me get into a few of those. Um, in terms of business standard, this takes you down to this far, and as you can see, there is things like e-discovery, litigation hold, um, Azure information protection, message encryption, and email, safe links, uh, device management for mobile devices, can digital access, all sorts of great stuff, right? And I'm, I'm going to go into whether it might be useful for you as a business to think about this. So, if you've got um, a mobile remote workforce. I a whole bunch of salespeople out there using laptops. You hardly ever see them in the office, right? That's probably, you're probably in the target market for business premium. Um, if you're 100% in the cloud, you no longer have a server on site, um, every, every, all your applications moved up to software as a service, right? Then it's gonna be right for you. Um, because you can do things like uh, single sign-on, uh, one login for, across all of your applications. Um, do you have a significant amount of staff churn, i.e. if you've got a set amount of laptops and you have people who come in and out of the organization on, or, you know, steadily throughout the year, then um, rather than having the hassle of having to rebuild the, um, the laptop for a new person, it becomes very easy to deploy the applications out to new people. If you're concerned about intellectual property leakage out of your organization and you've got security and compliance privacy policies that you must adhere to, there are so many great features within Business Premium that really insist that you go for it, all right? Um, if you've got BYOD, bring your own device or contractors who come in using their own kit, we can set up things like conditional access, so certain requirements about the security of their laptops that they're responsible for before they can connect to your data. All right. Um, if you don't have a server on site anymore, having centralized control like we used to have is very difficult, right? And by having business premium on, on your board your systems, we get th features like Intune, which enable us to set some uh, fine grained policies on the machines, right? Um, if you've got sensitive data on your laptops and you need to be able to encrypt them, you know, you know or, or remote wipe them or selectively do so, the tools to do that are within the system, right? And if nothing else, if you've got a mobile distributor workforce, uh, especially if there are some overseas and you're going multinational, then having that ability to do things like uh, easy self-password resets means that you're not struggling to get hold of an IT person in the middle of the night or something like that for a relatively minor problem, and you can just crack on with life. So, um, if any of those sounded like it might be for you, it's worth having a chat with us, right? Some of the features are literally just a single tenant, right? Um, sorry, one one license is needed to cover your entire organization. That's for now, Microsoft is allowing us, but it may change. Others generally will need a uh, each person to have their own subscription. Um, and whilst some features are really easy, like the, 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 the we can sort them out under our um, standard service contract that we might have with you, others are more in depth and we're gonna require a quoted project to roll out, for instance, single sign-on. Not massive necessarily, but significant enough to that we, we need to quote for you. Um, and, and realistically, there's so many more features in here. It's $11 more than business standard. So the, the payoff is, is excellent, right? So talk to your account manager or your favorite on-site engineer for their recommendation on what to do with your environment. Cheers.